you see here, as you walk through the house, you see the desk where Thomas Jefferson wrote the Declaration of Independence. Small desk. Very, he was a midget, actually. <laughs> really? Yes. I didn't the know history that. books do not tell you what Thomas Jefferson was a midget. Huh. Hey, I heard this place was supposed to be fun. Do you have any, like, rides or anything? No. <laughs> But we do have this wonderful oven that lady is used to cook at for the whole day. That's all they did. They didn't even like go out and do anything. They just cooked the whole day. Where they get that crazy? Where they I mean, food from? The, the store. The food store. You know what the food store? It's the forest. They went out with swords and killed bears. You know what my dad used to say about the forest. I know, I don't. I don't know your father. Shut up and hug me. What? No! Me. No! I've always wanted to be hugged by a guy in a fake beard. This is real. Tongue it. It's real. See, I told you it's real. Hug me anyway! No, I don't want to hug you. Please. I don't know please. you. Please. Please. I promise I'll shut up for the rest of the tour. No. You know, that is really something. I don't know what it is, but it's something. <laughs> it's a hug. It's not a hug. I was never hugged as a child. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. I was never hugged as a child either. Really? Unless you count the thing my mom did to me. That was strangling. Okay, so over here, we have this picture of George Washington. Hmm. Sometimes I wish I was William Shatner. Well, pay for your coat and call me an ice cream Sunday. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. When I wish I was William Shatner, I'd try and talk like him. But I can't really do a great impression. But I do that point anyway. This is the most interesting guest I've ever had at Colonial Woods. <laughs> ever. Is that? I previously stated was George Washington. George Washington. Looks funny. Wears blue. Hat. Beard. No, no beard. White hair. Old. <laughs> yes. Old indeed. So, about that hug. Didn't it already happen? Oh, uh, never mind. You have short term memory loss or something. Why Let's am I in the now? Alright. Now over here, we have another house. There's a lot of houses. Wow, exciting. Yes. A house. It was actually owned by Thomas Paine. Thomas Paine. Do you know who that is? He wrote the fantastic... Shush it! <laughs> he wrote the fantastic four. No. That was Stan Lee. However, Thomas Paine wrote the pamphlet Common Sense, which turned the English against themselves. You look silly. <laughs> I hear that quite a lot. <laughs> Why are you wearing... Revolutionary War era clothing. Bleep bloop! I am a robot. <laughs> that is why. I didn't know they had robots in. <laughs> robot <Fun>. ray times. <laughs> they do. <laughs> what <laughs> do robots do? Well, we usually give tour guides. Tours. We don't. No, we give tour guides tours. That's what we do. You <laughs> give tours? Yes, we do. That's what I am a robot. This is actually the year 2079. I'm a robot. I can't oh, believe I lived that long. You are. I was born in the 40s. Well, there were time machines then. Or the 30s. I don't remember. There were also time machines at that point in this field. You know, I was once on a television show. Well, I had a time travel. That's great. What show was it? Twilight Zone. It wasn't Star Trek. Star Trek? You want to hear about Star Trek? No. I got tons oh, of stories about Star Trek. Joy. You know, this one time, me and Leonard Nimoy were out back using tether balls, and I was all like, Let's go to rocket number nine! <laughs> Let's go, we need to go! Oh, oh. Quick! That's the I was name. in Rhode Island, it's T3 Quick, sure! Quick, quick, quick! That's the name of the next place over oh, there! Okay. Here we are, rocket what? number nine. This happened in 2064. What happened actually. to the other eight rockets? There were no, there was only one. It's just the name. There was no sequence of rockets. My cat can fly. I taught him the other day. I believe in seeing as we are in the year 2070. I don't get a lot of work, so <laughs> no. I have plenty of time. What year are we in? I don't know. I'm a robot. <laughs> so, anyway, the reason I came here was to die on your colonial cuisine. Quick question for you. Um, you're not William Shatner. Why are you consisting on the accent of William Shatner? Like I told you, William Shatner is like a dream. Very well. Continue. Sorry, I was having a flashback. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Great. Now, to end the tour, we have over... Ha! I have now proven you don't exist. Because William Shatner doesn't exist, and only someone who doesn't exist would ex exist in with the world where William Shatner exists. Therefore, you do not exist. And this is all a dream. I I'm going to go shoot myself in the head and wake up. I am a robot.
Do you have anything I can shoot myself with? Does this must have work? I crossed on King of the Sky Blitz? <laughs> which, which are my robot minions? That's what they are, Sky Blitz. Can you hold this? No. Hold the other end. Hey! Oh, well, there's a bayonet. I didn't think this killing thing through. No. You I didn't, didn't think it would hurt. No, you also, I've come to appreciate life. He has. <laughs> now die. Can I have that milk? Now die. Can I have that milk? Now die. I will kick you. Okay. <laughs> I am a robot. <laughs>